often give a higher priority to the things we won't remember in five minutes over the things we'll remember for a year, five years, a decade, or a lifetime. Why? These things have deadlines, and these things don't. And if we only prioritize based on deadlines, what we give up are the things that produce the balance, the leadership, the improvement, the feelings that we want in life. The joy, the happiness, the satisfaction is all in going after what we want, but your brain's not hardwired to think like that. If your criteria for making decisions is, when's it due? When's it due? Steve's remarkable new approach can help anyone from the top of the organization to frontline employees, focus on the true drivers of performance and start delivering dramatically better results. Delegation is huge and there's a lot of things to consider when you're delegating. Do you have the time? Does somebody else have more time available just to get it done faster? Does somebody else need the task for developmental and training purposes? What's the cost to the organization of you doing the task versus somebody else doing the task? There's a lot to consider, but the number one thing to consider when you're delegating is, what else could you be doing with your time? And my answer to that question is going to be you could be leading instead of managing. Steve's method has been proven to work in any industry and in any sized organization. Steve understands how today's hyper-paced world takes its toll. He knows we're all in a daily race to stay ahead. One of the biggest issues facing employers today is work-life balance. But the problem with balance is it has nothing to do with time. One of the biggest misconceptions about balance is that it's about how much time you give to different activities that it would be about six hours at work and six hours at home. That would be a balanced life. No. See, first and foremost, balance is a feeling you get. There's times in your life when you feel balanced and there's times in your life when you don't feel balanced. Would you agree with that? So the question is, if that's true, every time you have felt balanced, what created the feeling? Every time you have ever felt balanced in your life, do you know what you just did? You worked on a game task in your life. You worked on a goal you had. You made your life better. I know there's a little bit of selfishness in this talk, correct? There's a little bit of, hey, I gotta do what everybody in the world wants me to do, and I believe we should do some things we wanna do. And if you balance those two things, I believe you have a credible claim to the word balance. Because you've delivered on your expectations, and you've defended time, and that's the only way you're gonna do it. Defended time to move things forward. And if you do that, you'll be a role model to everybody you know. In business, there's the maintenance of a business, there's the improvement. And the people we want to follow are the people making things better. So don't just manage your life. Manage your life and lead your life. And if you can balance those two things, consider yourself in a group of elite people that have done it. Wish you a ton of luck and success, and I hope this was a good use of your time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much.